this is Jeopardy. Welcome to it. I really blanked out what else I was going to say on that one. Hi, welcome to Cascapades. It's more game shows. It's more fun times. It's more showing the world that we are not as smart as we believe we are. <laughs> I'm John. Me John is starting right away with me. that. Uh, <laughs> We're we're not as smart as we think we are. Me is John. <laughs> Rosie's theirs. I am Rose. <laughs> and we're gonna play some Jeopardy. It's gonna be awesome because I know pop we're culture. Gonna, we're gonna try and level up some of this stuff. Did I hit the right button? I don't know. I don't Maybe. know if I did either. Small chance. Oh man, I won four matches. That's cool. Yeah, because sometimes you're better at buzzing in than I am. Oh, we really true. do need to get a second profile on your Switch. Yeah, that Jeopardy. way I can just play as that. Company name origins. Oh, oh no. Potpourri around the world. Oh, oh. crap. Astro quiz. What? Uh, TV laugh lines. Uh, huh? The dreaded counting category. No. This means war. Does it? Uh. Okay, what? who's going first? Please I am. A category. Um, let, let's try some TV laugh lines. This NBC Jimmy joked, Kanye says he and Kim are like Romeo and Juliet. In a related story, Kanye West, West hasn't read all of Romeo and Juliet. Which Jimmy said it? Jimmy Kimmel. Kimmel's the only one on NBC for no, Oh, not. shit. <laughs> I'm hoping it's Valen. That's correct. Because <laughs> I don't know the other one. <laughs> yeah, the Tonight Show is on NBC, isn't it? I I don't know. Yeah. Screw sure, that one up. let's go 400. On this series, Sheldon explained one cries because one is sad. For example, I cry because others are stupid, and it makes me sad. Okay. Big Bang Theory. Cucker. <laughs> well done. I got John this. and his reflexes. Player one, pick what are we category. doing next? We're going to keep on the laugh lines. This show's bunny ear clad Louise says, why did we ever think a restaurant was a good idea? We've watched mom and dad fail at it for years. No! Yes! No! Yes! What is Bob's Burgers? Damn it! Yes! Okay, yeah, we can keep Player going with two. laugh lines. It's fine. <laughs> select a All category. Right. On this sitcom, Manny wants to be in junior Congress to make a difference. Jay says regular Congress can't even make a difference. Um, oh, I was hoping for an easier one. Modern Family? Yes. Correct. Wow. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. I got lucky. Let's try this. As Kimmy Schmitz, she said, some things are just wrong, like kissing a married person or tracing something and saying you drew it. Excuse me? That should be... Uh... Oh, good. I don't know who played Kimmy Schmidt. <laughs> Ellen Kemper, I believe. I don't know, actually. Ellie Kemper? Ellie, yeah. Ellen. Ellen, whatever. Where are we Nailed going it. next? Nailed it. Which category would you mm -hmm. like? The dreaded counting category. Sure. In baseball, it's how a pitcher to catcher to first double play is scored. This is an easy one. Pitcher to catcher to first. You are Damn an easy one, two, two three. three. Thank yeah. you for teaching me about baseball. God. Damn it. Player <laughs> two. I'm just here like, Please I'm pretty sure. Category. Sure. In the opening of Rock Around the Clock, there are at least three hours mentioned. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Wow, you are actually no, running away with this a little bit. I'm oh, impressed. no, I got it wrong. <laughs> I don't remember. That's not correct. Okay, William. It's your time to shine, buddy. Do it, William. Oh, the last Get three hours mentioned. You are nine, right. 9, 10, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, rock, 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 the clock tonight. Day. Yep. Wow. It's Dang. your turn to choose William. a category. It's a daily double. You know what? Go for it, William. How much would you like to wager? All <laughs> Let's see. Go all of it. We're not even going to see the question. This future American state declared its independence in 1836 during a war with Mexico. Wow, we would know it. 
Is that Texas this, or New Mexico? This should be Texas. That's not what we were well, it's going for. not California. For. Did you lose it all? You only bet fifty dollars. Come on, man. You have four hundred. Who needs that? Lasting from 1957 to 1975, it's the longest war in which the U.S. has taken place. Or taken part. Uh, it should be Vietnam. Yes. Oh, boy. All right. Cool. Where are we going next? We're going to go Player back one. to the dreaded which accounting category. category. Like? Okay. John wants to finish. In poker, if you've got a jack high straight, these are your three lowest cards. What? <laughs> Okay. I think that's it. Yes. I'm over here counting on my finger. How did you do that one? Because it's a jack high. If a Spanish child tells you to count to mil while he hides, you'll end up with this trio of numbers. Um I thought Mill was a. Well done. Nope. Okay. All right. Well. Cien. Ciento. Ah. If the U.S. Vice President counts senators to see if he has a quorum, he can stop after these three numbers. Go, William. Do it. Do it, William. Show us what it's not. 65, no, 66, sorry. 67. Yeah, I'm not touching this one. I think you should. No, absolutely not. You got a 50-50. I do have a 50-50. I don't know what a quorum is. <laughs> I don't either. This means war. In this US war, it was the Yanks versus the Confederates. Whatever could it be? Correct. Civil War. Nice. Uh, sure. During the U.S. Revolutionary War, volunteers ready to fight with 60 seconds notice were called these. Do you know? The Minutemen? Do you remember that one from <laughs> U.S. history? And the, the Patriot? And the oh, yeah, that wasn't the Patriot. Yeah. Wasn't I forgot about that. Like? The Hundred Years' War, taking place from 1337 to 1453, was fought between England and this country. I am decently sure that it's France. That's where my yes. head went, but I couldn't remember. <laughs> I'm just here like, I'm not 100% sure, two. but I'm going to go it's with your it. Turn to choose a category. Uh, Popery around the world. This Australian island state is home to a marsupial devil. Hey, they're in a book that I'm reading. The Tasmanian devil is? Exactly. Tasmanian devils, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. Right. Player one, please select a category. The Virgin Islands celebrate Thanksgiving in October to give thanks for the end of this weather season. What you gonna do? Hurricane season, it's right? It's the only one that makes yeah. sense. I, I looked at the other two, I'm like, wait, I, I don't so think I Blizzard the season Islands. would make sense. Oh, you have a commanding the lead. Image. Oh, hell. <laughs> Oh, I just remember what it was. <laughs> it's the Omega. Omega, yeah. It would be the, the Alpha, alpha and, and the, the Omega. Omega. Yep. Precisely. Damn it. Yes. It's like, I know that one. Pick a category. I don't know a lot of them. This strait lies between England and France, connecting the English Channel with the North Sea. This is Strait of Dover, I believe. Yes, correct. Wow. Yeah, because Gibraltar is off Spain. I can't believe you. Many Indian foods are accompanied by these popular relishes of spices and fruits that are often made from mangoes. Chutney? You know what? I think it is. Chutney's made from mangoes now. That yeah. I, yeah. I'm just here like, it's always a mango chutney. It's got to be chutney, right? Damn, dog. Uh, company name origins. Benjamin Holt created a tractor that an onlooker said crawled like this worm-like larva. It'd be a caterpillar. Oh. Yeah, that you makes more sense. <laughs> I'm okay. just here like, I'm not comprehending this question. <laughs> That's why I have you read it, because I'm like, okay, I can comprehend like? this. 
1936, this company started as Government Employees Insurance Company, hence the name. Shit! Oh, no! <sighs> I hate you. Damn it. That's it's worked right. for them. I'm just here like, I know this line! We got it! Let me have it! Pick a category. Okay, William, what are we doing? The body of a comet is called this, just like the center of an atom. Uh, nucleus? Correct. I didn't know that, actually. I only know because of the atom. Yeah, the, the hint <laughs> helped. Yeah. Huh. Which category uh, would you like? Sure. Copernicus's belief that the Earth revolves around the sun is known as this centric view of the cosmos. Solar centric? Sadly, that would be a solar that's system. not it. Oh, damn it. Gotta be named for the god of the sun. Helio. Helio, okay, yeah. Heliocentric. You yep. are right. That does make sense. Yeah. Sure. After the sun and moon, this planet, aka the morning star and evening star, is the brightest natural object in the sky. Uh, oh, that is not what I thought. <laughs> I'm just here like, I don't know. Mercury. Wrong. <laughs> what did you answer? Mercury. 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 Is it Mars or is it Venus? Is it really Venus? That's correct. It is. Oh, okay. William has some money again. Good job, William. Player three, pick a category. Watch this. Our sun is a yellow dwarf, but in five billion years, it will become one of these massive objects expanding past the orbits of some planets. What? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Red giant? <laughs> you are right. What's the star? I was right! Man, Number I am two. sucking it's tonight. To choose a category. In 1801, Ceres became the first of these to be discovered. Stars? Okay, Ceres? Oh, was she a was she one of Jupiter's lovers? I feel like she was. No, sorry. Oh. I don't know. Asteroid. 1801 just puts an asteroid That's in my it. head. It's fair. I don't think we'd be able to it's see fair. a galaxy in 1801. No, Play but I one. thought a moon might have Which made sense. Yeah. Would you like? Originally called Backrub, this search engine took a name that is a misspelling of the word for a one followed by 100 zeros. That is a Google. Indeed. It was originally called Backrub? I have no idea. What the hell? I only know the number. Two, please select a category. This company that delivers meal kits to be prepared at home is named for something chefs wear while learning to cook. You got this? Blue apron? <laughs> Shut up. Yes. I got this. Correct. Yes. All right. Last question. Give us, give us last, last one. Clue. James Church chose this name for his product because the symbols of the god Vulcan represented power. What? That's that's got to be Arm and Hammer. Exactly. Because Vulcan is Hephaestus. Hephaestus. You are a huge scores. dork. I want you to know this. I want you to know I'm okay with being a huge dork. No, like, you, like the fact that you're breaking this shit down is very impressive. Round, I like Star Trek. Are. I know what Vulcan Star is, Wars so therefore... Forever. Oh, look! Star Wars People Forever! Can... God damn it! <laughs> A world of places. Are you shitting me? Unicorn. Tape parades. <laughs> what? What's for lunch? Your mom. Beef. No, that's what's for dinner. Uh, that's damn true. it. Go, Three. William. World of places. Iraq and Iran are among the Gulf states... Countries bordered by this body of water. The Persian Gulf. That's correct. Hey. John's coming back. I don't remember That's that. the thing. Like, I always Player suck one. out Pick suck it category. up in the second half. A national monument in Cork, the second city of this country, honors the rebellion of 1798. What? 
William, how about you step in first? Ireland? You are right. That's what I was thinking with Cork. Player three. Right over my head. A category. <laughs> Let's just do the next one, William. This capital in the Valley of Nepal is at an altitude of about 4,000 feet. Uh, is that Kuala Lumpur? That's not it. No. I think I know what it is. Oops. Kathmandu? That's, that was my second guess. That's right. Nice. I, that's the only one I could actually like pronounce in my head. Yeah. So I'm like, it's gotta be that one, right? Look, category. William, this sounds done, dog. Go back to that one. Take a gamble. Monte Carlo is one of these small European countries for quarter. Um, Monte Carlo is in Monaco. Indeed. I knew that and I froze. These are just Player things two. that I know. Please select a category. The only South American countries with both an Atlantic and Pacific coast are Chile and this nation. That should be, is it Argentina? Venezuela. Incorrect. No, it might be Venezuela. I don't remember. I'm going to go with it. Because it can't be Colombia, right? It's got to be Venezuela. I don't know. Right? No. Dude, Spanish. I got it wrong. Good. We're getting too close to me. Damn it. That's it. I honestly can't put Colombia where Colombia is at right now in my head. South America. Three. Yeah, that's true. Category. <laughs> oh, no. As a teen in Philly, this Suicide Squad star began rapping under the name of the Fresh Prince. I hate you. Okay, John. Focus time. Here we go. <laughs> this is where we pick it back up. We are 2K down from Player Rose. It's Let's go with Pennsylvania again. A, a sweater worn by this TV host who had his own neighborhood for kids on PBS was displayed at the Smithsonian. Mr. Rogers. See, and this is where John's That's reflexes correct. come in handy. All right. Still got it. Still got it. <laughs> oh, hell. How much you wagering? How much money are you wagering? What you want? I'll do a thousand. Okay. This Birdman star was born with the name Michael Douglas, so he uses a stage name to avoid confusion. Ah, oh, shit! I could have named. I could have done more. This is Michael Keaton. Yep. Damn it. That's right. Should have. Should have. That's all right. That's all right. I'm good with that. I've taken. No, I didn't. I thought it was a double. It doubled what I. <laughs> Oh, shit. That's not what a daily double is. This man, not Willy Wonka, built a chocolate factory in a Pennsylvania town that was renamed for him. Damn it! Milton Hershey. <laughs> Damn it! Correct. Oh. oh. <sighs> Trigger happy fingers don't fail me now. This vice president of the U.S. was born in Scranton, Pennsylvania in 1942. Go for it, William. Yeah, knock stuff out, William. I'd... Dick Cheney? That's Could not be. it. Nope. What you got? 42? It's a pincer Biden. Actually, I think it is Biden. You are right. I had to do the math because I was like, I don't think Pence is that old. I had to do the math of how old Biden is right now. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going to go with the unicorn. I'm keeping you away from Star Wars. In Through the Looking Glass, she meets a unicorn who's stunned to discover she's not a monster. That is Alice. And that's all that's I know correct. of that. <laughs> Thank you for the look through the looking glass part, because I didn't even know there's unicorns in that. Oh, come on! It's a daily double. What are you doing? How much do you want to wager? What are you doing, Mr. I know things? I'm doing another thousand. <laughs> Look at the following image. The work seen here was inspired by this painter who wrote of the unicorn, it will go up to a seated damsel and go to sleep in her lap. That is Vinci. No, it's not. Correct. Oh, it, yeah, is. it is. Okay. Sweet. Got this. You can ask to take names now. The endangered Indian species of this large 
ungulate has the scientific name R. unicornis. That should be the rhinoceros. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes. Oh, she's coming back, guys. Player two. Hey, John. Please yeah. select a category. Damn it. You ready for this? Spoiler alert! Near the end of The Force Awakens, this actor from the original trilogy is revealed from under a hood. Camel. Okay. <laughs> I had to really think about it. I was like, wait, what? I, it didn't click with me, the question. Yeah, no. Right. Not well. It's your turn to choose a category. This 2016 Star Wars story had a worldwide box office total of $290 million in its opening weekend. 2016 should be Rogue One. Well done. I, let, I Star Wars story. Yeah. I didn't know if they were going to do Rogue One or uh, select Han Solo. Category. In Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, this old Jedi Master was entirely computer generated. Uh, Yoda. That's it. Mace Windu. <laughs> Mace Windu. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson didn't even show up to set. <laughs> he didn't need Which to. Which category would you like? SNL star Bill Hader lent his vocal skill to this round rolling droid. BB-8. Okay, cool. I, I, I locked <laughs> real fast. Correct. I was thinking BD-1. I was like... Yeah. And it really is just reflexes on this. Don't, what? I think I'm wrong. Sadly, I'm not even going to try. Not I can, mm -mm. Well... I couldn't do math fast enough. It happens. Well done. Whew. All right. Just here, like, I have no idea. We were together. We yeah. were married. This unicorn like whale's horn is really a long tusk. That is the narwhal. Which for the longest exactly. time I didn't know was actually a real whale. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, I get that. It got so social media that I thought it was a fake thing. Yeah. The gentleman collar breaks Laura's prized unicorn figure in this Tennessee Williams play. I think, I think that's the glass menagerie. You are that's where right. my gut went. I yeah. couldn't tell you. <laughs> Player two. Let's see. Please select a uh, category. What's for lunch? Observe the following image. We're having the Italian dish seen here, a favorite of the this comic strip pet created in 1978. Garfield. I hate you and your reflexes. Exactly. <laughs> this is that is honestly the biggest reason to not play Jeopardy Player with one. you. <laughs> it's your turn to choose a category. For a meatless option, try a portobello sandwich, the portobello being a type of this food. Oh damn, we got me. Every once in a while. Mushroom. Indeed. Portobello's delicious. They are. They're so good. Especially grill them up. Oh. Player two. Pick delicious. a category. Pretend it's Friday and lunch on the New England style of this soup. Clam chowder? Yeah, that's the only that's one that right. New England clam chowder is. Yeah. Like. Delicacy? I've tried clam chowder once. Not good. Chicken and side dishes come together in a famous bowl at this restaurant. Famous bowl... Fridays? That is not correct. No. Damn it. Needed that money. Needed the money. And needed the points. KFC. I almost said KFC is correct. the worst part. One. I had the, I had one of those bowls once, like? and it was way too much food. This sandwich of fried chickpea balls and tahini sauce served in a pita is a Middle Eastern specialty. That sounds delicious. I don't know what that is. Aw, you don't know about falafel. Oh, that is falafel, isn't it? You don't exactly. know about falafel. God, I did. I forgot it was chickpea falafel balls. Falafel is delicious. I so forgot that was chickpea yeah. balls. Your turn to choose a category. Uh, October 29, 1886, as part of the dedication ceremony for this landmark. What do we got? My first thought 
1886. That's probably Golden Gate? No, it's nope. not. I'll go with the Gateway Arch then. Wrong. Really? I didn't know the Statue of Liberty was that late. I didn't either. <laughs> I, I thought we got it in like that's correct. Maybe early 17 or early 1800s? Yeah, I did too. Oh, Play three. Right. Huh. Which category would you like? June 20, 1932. For this pilot, after her solo transatlantic flight. That had to have been planned for her, right? Planned? Or, okay, I was like, did we actually go through with that? We might parade? have. I don't know. That's a little it's your turn morbid. To choose a category. October 19, 1960. For this man and his wife a few weeks before he became president. John F. Kennedy. That's exactly. who I was. Yeah. Because he. 1960. Yeah. Yep. I messed up on Clear when it three. was. Which category oh, would you like? Of course you are. August 13, 1969, for Niels Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and him. That is. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't remember. I think it's Gus Grissom, actually, because I want my head goes That's to. Oh. It. oh. Damn it. I think. Is it actually? I think it's Michael Collins. Yeah. That's correct. Damn. Because I've just heard a whole TikTok about how um, Armstrong got married on the moon. July 2nd, 1926 and July 2nd, 1930. For this golfer after he won the British Open. Sam Sneed. <laughs> ben Hogan? <laughs> Shit. That is not Damn correct. it. Nope. William, give it a try for me, man. Is it... I don't even care if you get it right. Is it Bobby Jones? I couldn't... Yes. Okay. I had it down to Bobby Aww, Jones. I was hoping for Sam Sneed. Snap, Sam Sneed. Sam Sneed. <laughs> what? Closer than My I slow reflexes were not too bad. How much money are you wagering? Please, try your best to keep your eyes on your own wager. Robert Cheesebro named this brand for the German word for water and the Greek word for olive oil. What? <laughs> what? Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> Take a guess. Yes. Let's see William's response. William, how'd you do? That's right. Yes! Vater. Precisely. John? Yeah. I don't think it even matters because I don't think that I have enough. What did you say? Oh, no, you have enough. Oh, my. That's not what we were going for. Oh. <laughs> I lost to William. Oh. I came in dead last. Placements. John got cocky. Son of a bitch, man. <laughs> I even saw it. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's Vaseline. Has to be Vaseline. That's the Third only place. thing that made sense. And I'm like, no, John, be no. a dumbass. Let's go with this. It's fair. I didn't you trust my gut. A new master rank. Oh, master rank for lifestyle. Master rank you have for pop culture. Master rank. Nice. Oh, so close to leveling up in the other two. Wow. There you go. All right. We learned something today. <laughs> I love how number of buzzes. William's down there at 10. 10 and came in second. <laughs> Douche. <laughs> Douche. He was a little cautious. All right, well, we learned stuff, found out things, and John still has the reflexes of a cat. <laughs> Come back next time! 
Bye. Why did you choose palm olive, John? You know that wasn't the right answer. Uh, you knew it. You knew it. It helps. I almost chose palm olive. Thanks.